Hello everybody, it's Lucas here from Swagger Bond and I'm back with some more Tomb Raider for the PlayStation 1 where today I'm hoping to do the cistern level, a very difficult level indeed where we have to raise and lower the tide in order to access new areas. Hope you're doing okay, thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos, I really appreciate it. If you're new to Swagger Bond and like what you see, what on earth are you waiting for? <laughs> Uh, hit that red subscribe button now and hit that bell notification icon also that way you'll be instantly subscribed to Spiker Bond and you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new retro gaming video. Also, please don't forget to drop me a like on this video if you enjoy it. Comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the system level. Uh, do you find it as head-scratchingly difficult as I do? I'm probably going to have a lot of problems with this. And also, Pierre is going to make uh, an appearance as well here. So, yeah. And also, don't forget to share this video around. Uh, with everybody that you know, anybody you think might be interested in this type of retro content. So it really helps with YouTube's algorithm and it allows my channel to grow and it means more people will be able to find and access my content consistently and easier. And finally, you can follow my social media links. They will be in this video description. So, uh, boys and girls, let's get started. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, children of all ages, and let's play The Cistern. Alright, here we go. So, um, I've kind of got a little brief idea of what I need to do here. So, I think the hardest thing about this is just kind of not falling down and making sure that you kind of follow the route. Because um, even though it seems like it's random, uh, you will see that uh, Core Design have very kindly put uh, save crystals uh in uh, some areas in the system so it kind of gives you a kind of a little brief of where you where you need to go um there's like a staircase i think an empty room where it leads you up and that's like one of the first parts you'll be doing here so we will get to that though but first things first we need to push this block in place and we need to pull the switch which will release a trapdoor and open a door and allow us to get a cheeky little med pack as well so very very cool so let's do that okay there we are kill the rats and pop in here rock the casbah rock the casbah <laughs> all right we got a large med pack we're doing well Awesome. Let's move to the left and drop down into the cistern. Okay, no rats down here. So here we go, guys. This is the area that we're going to be working from. This massive, huge, glorious area, which looks just as impressive now as it ever did. It's absolutely beautiful. So you can see there's some crocogators down below I'm trying to eliminate, as well as some rats. That was gorgeous. It always reminds me of the Ocarina of Time, the Water Temple as well. I wonder if Nintendo sort of took cues from this level. Because it's uh, a, a great concept, really. I've had real problems for locking onto the proper gates because they're not in view. I don't, I don't even think they're there yet. There we go. Got to get rid of them. Because they will impede Lara's progress. I just don't want to stay put, that's the problem. Come on. Come on, lads. Where are you? Aha! Come on, just die, will you? There's one anyway. I don't know if I've got them both. Don't think I have. I think there's like one more skirting around. Hello, hello? There's also lots of rats. Ah, there's my friend. Come on, lock on. There we go. Right, now that the crocogators are gone, we're going to do a cheeky little swan dive because there's a secret we can actually get here in this area somewhere. So there we go. Let's pop in here. There we are, the secret chime, pop down here, and there's some magnum clips, which will come in handy when we get the magnum, or magnums I should say. Let's move through this area, get up, and we need to find out where we need to go. This level can be very confusing, because you look at it and you think, where the hell 
Am I supposed to go? Well, um, all you need to know is that if you can get your hands on gold and silver keys, and you can access any of the gold and silver doors, essentially. I don't know if you have to do them in any specific order, but, um, yeah, I would say follow the save crystals. That's kind of my my one number one rule for this game. And also, number two, rule number two, watch out for Pierre. He's a little bit like Jeremy Beadle. You know, watch out, Beadle's about, Pierre's about, Pierre's a complete spammer. And uh, he will, just like the Crocker Gators, um, impede your progress, I think. All right. Lots of rats here. Come on. There's one down there, little buggers. Alright. The first thing we're going to do, though, is going to pop up here. We're going to go and get the first key. So, I think pretty much straight away we can get our hands on, like, two keys. Uh, so, we're going to get the first one, the first silver key, which is over here. So, I think it's very conveniently laid out on the ledge. So, we'll take that. Okay, and... Um, Anything on this ledge down here? Oh, just a rat. Rip, rip for a rat. Kill the rat. Alright. Okay, good. And um, we're going to go get the old uh, shotty shells down here. Okay, so there will be a Pierre encounter coming up in just a minute because um, when I enter the room, he's going to be pissed. And so I've got to take him out in order to um, access, I think, the higher up areas. And then I've got to take a little dip and find the next key. So, yeah, it's all about collecting keys, essentially, and just opening all these doors. So I may have to kind of edit this down because I'm going to get lost. Uh, <laughs> that... It's a certainty, basically. I always do uh, on this level, I think. It's one of those levels that's just super confusing to me. But we will get there. I think with some grit, some grit, some, I can't even say the words, grit it. I don't know what that's not even a word. Grit and determination. I will power through. Oh, get your words out, Lucas. What's the matter with you? Okay, and if we just overwrite that, there we are. Okay. Get the old shotty out. Ba, 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 ba. And try and take care of Pierre if I can. So I'm just going to cautiously wait for a second. Because. Oh, there we are. He's buggered off. There we go. <laughs> he, he just was like, I'm not having any of this. And he's run off. He might come back though. I don't know. Maybe I didn't hit him enough or. Maybe I just hit him too much, I don't know. Right, so, in this room. Uh, oh, God. I know I'm supposed to... Ah, oh, there's a switch. Do I hit this switch or do I not hit this switch? I think I want to hit the switch. Right, so... Oh. I think that's changed the tide outside, basically. Right, I think I need to climb climb up. I need to get up, don't I? I need to do something. That's what I need to do. I need to get up. If I can, if it'll let me. Okay. Okay, lovely. All right. I don't know if she'll make that. If she'll make that jump. But we'll try it, guys. Oh, she made it. All right. Wow, we. She made it. The girl made it. What have we got? We've got shotty shells up here. Okay, so now I'm up here. What now? Ah, I think there's more items to be had up there. Okay, right. Is 
just drop down. All right. Let's just pop up here. Let's see what we got. Okay. What do we have? I think there's something up there that we can get, but I'm not sure. If we get to that middle one again, we might be able to just uh, jump up, I think. Alright. Maybe. No, it's, it's way too far. I, can, I probably can access it from here, actually. There we go, alright. Well, I'm just, I'm not used to the game giving, giving it, giving me the, uh, the item straight away. That's why I thought it was going to be more difficult than it was, so. Okay. There's an alcove up here as well. What's up here, I wonder? And the secret. Okay, what do we have here? Could it be magic now? Oh, we got some shotty shells. I'll take those. We like shotty shells. Alright, good. And there's some more stuff over there, but... Uh, I know what they want me to do. Okay, whoa. Slow down there. Right, so where the hell am I or am I in here? Am I back here or is this is this a new area or Oh it's just the same area I've been in. Oh this is the same area, right, so we I guess we've got everything now. Pretty much, or as much as we're gonna get, so I'm gonna just pop down this area here. And I'm going to swim through here because we're going to pick up another key. So I need to just emerge. To merge over here, and we should be fine. There we are. Lovely. Kill the rat. Okay. Right, okay. Jump, grab, awesome. So yeah, there is another key we need to get our hands on. And there it is. Amazing, we've not actually opened any doors yet and I've just been finding keys, so... Not bad. So with the tide kind of... Um, the tide's kind of in. So, it's going to make it easier to access those doors outside, I think. So, we're just going to shimmy. We've got some rats down there. I love how they're just glitching into the wall without a care in the world. And then we'll head up to those silver doors. That's good. Look at that. They don't know what they're doing. But anyway, we'll slide down here now. There we are. Magic. See what I meant when I said the save crystals are kind of your guide here? Okay, so I need to get into a room because I need to try and get the magnums and also acquire another key from somewhere. It's really annoying. I hate it. Got to be done. Right, I'm gonna go get the uh, try and get the magnums first. It's frustrating this bit because um, they're very hard to get, and I believe there's some sort of jump, like a special jump required, maybe a sideways jump to get them to get into the gap. So I'm going to try. Right. 
Lock the door. Shoot Mr. Gorilla. Or Mr. Gorillas, I should say. Come on, come on, come on. There we are. Right, okay. I'm trying to work out how to get these friggin' magnums. And I've also got to take Pierre out as well, who puts in another reappearance here. Very annoying. It's not too bad when you're high up because he does kind of glitch out a little bit. He starts sort of shooting when you jump to this area here. Can't actually do much to be honest. I'll bugger off Pierre. I think, he, I think he's gone. If you keep shooting him, he's just going to linger. And the game kind of glitches and you will just take more damage. So yeah, now, the problem is, I need to get these magnums. And the game is really awkward. They're so awkward to get that it becomes almost impossible. So I'm going to try and do a sideways jump to get in the gap. Almost, almost at it. So I think I just need to be a bit closer, maybe. So it's not three steps away, it might just be two steps away. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. God, they certainly don't make it easy. I just want the magnums, all I want. Give me the magnums. Give them to me now. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try two steps away from the edge. Or one step away, I should say, from the edge. Okay. There we go, alright. There you go, guys. I've got the Magnums. Oh, awesome. Alright, I got them. The question is, how do I get down? So. Alright, oh god. Why do they do this to me? I don't know if I can make it down there. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, if I'm honest. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Come on. Fan dabby dozy. Let's use the med pack. Alright, so we've got the magnums now, so... Okay, I could have shimmied across. Right, alright, fine. Well, got them in the end. So, what do I do now? I'm in this area. Oh my god. Okay, we've got a propagator down there. So it looks like I'm going to need to get down. But we've got loads of platforms up here. So do I need to get up or do I need to get down? What do I do in this room? Or can I do anything this in this room? I don't know if I can. Oh yeah, I can go down this way. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Oh god. He took a while to bite the bullet, didn't he? Anyway, let's use the save crystal. Save the game. Alright. 
All right, so rat's dead. We got that. We might as well just grab the key and try and get out of here now. Grab the key. Uh, I don't know if there's anywhere else I can actually go in this area, to be honest. But I just need to have a swim around and have a look. Let me just have a have a look in this little alcove. If I can. Okay. Okay, and it leads me back into the main chamber, okay. But there's still no indication on where I'm supposed to go, that's the thing. See, in this area, there's two doors which I cannot open, so I need two specific keys. So I can't get in there yet. So that, I think, is my eventual destina ah, destination. Okay. Right. Aha. See, there's a door down there, maybe, that I can access. But there's also a door over here. Right. Let's use the key. Something's definitely yeah. wrong here. I don't remember this at all. Use the rusty key. Okay, so I've opened this door, but I don't know what it does. Okay, ah, spikes, right, so have I already been here? It's possible I've already, oh, okay, maybe I haven't because of the med pack here. Oh, okay. So, ah, right, I'm with you now, right, we get this key. Do you know what, I think that might be all the keys. I think that might be everything now. I think that's everything. It's possible that that might be everything, but there is a door down there that I think I need to open. I don't know, but that's pretty good. I'm making amazing progress. Uh, so let's see. I, think I just need to to go oh hello bugger off bugger off oh bloody hell crocky gator wants me so we'll just get rid of the crocky gator he's going to cause me significant problems if I don't there we are we got him alright so with that alright do I get up there or do I it's over there right I need to be over there Okay, right, okay. Right, pop up. So I think we've got two, the two keys now, so I think... No, we haven't. We've got the silver and the gold. All right, that's fine. Uh, so I need to let the tide out, and then I need to drop down and then go to the gold door. Right, I got it. So let's let's do that first. Alright, let's pop up here. Lovely Lara. Yes, we've got to change the tide because I saw a door down down there, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that I don't have the correct keys for the doors. Or oh, it looks like there's one more that I need. It's fine if I'm wrong, but you know what? They wouldn't put this in there just to, you know, just for a one-off use. I mean, I think you've got to use it like multiple times, maybe. So anyway, let's pop back out the door. Then we'll pop on the ground. We'll get down if we can, and then we'll try and work, work it out. It's all I can think of to do, really, is to get down. 
we just get down to the ground. Alright, we're on the ground now. So let's see. Ah, okay. There's a door, but we've, we've already been there, I think. We've already been in this area when it was full of water, so we can't do anything in there. So that's fine. Okay, so I'm sure I saw another door on the bottom somewhere that was open, but I could be wrong. That one's open already, so I must have already done that one. I'm probably totally wrong, but I'm sure there's like, I did see a closed door at the bottom. Okay, well, I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Alright, well, I don't know what to do then. I mean, like... I've got a silver key and I've got a gold key. Now, I'm guaranteed that they're not going to work for the doors that are up here, I don't think. Well, at least one of them will. The other one won't, so... What, what, where am I supposed to go exactly? It's like, it's not really very clear. So, gold key? No. 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 Silver key. Alright, so, I don't know if it's going to let me in this door. No. No, see... There's obviously another gold area somewhere, but where is it? 